So we're going to look at a dihybrid cross. So that means we're looking at a cross where we're interested in two traits this time. So a monohybrid cross, we're interested in one trait. Dihybrid cross, we're interested in two traits. So when we do a cross, we're interested in the outcomes in terms of the phenotype of the offspring. So in this particular cross, we're going to firstly uh, look at the, uh, a cross between pure breeding parents in the F1 generation and in F2 it will be the hybrid, so it'll be the dihybrid cross. And we're going to look at um, pea plants again. We're going to have yellow, smooth seeds versus green, wrinkled seeds. So we're going to look at a cross between these two. So we're looking at pure breeding parents first of all. Now yellow is actually the dominant allele uh, and so this is homozygous, homozygous dominant for yellow for colour and it's yellow and smooth again is the homozygous um, for smooth and then here green is actually it's the homozygous recessive so in other words we have to have for it to be expressed we need to have both uh, alleles need to be green so therefore homozygous homozygous recessive for green and for wrinkled it's also homozygous because again that's the recessive um, allele for wrinkled. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do a Punnett square. Alright, so we're going to do a Punnett square to see what the possible alleles will be in the offspring. So each one of these sort of boxes here above, we need to write down the possible alleles. Now, um, because we're talking about a homozygous dominant yellow, so that's going to be capital Y, capital Y, and homozygous dominant smooth, okay, so that's going to be capital S, capital S. Homozygous recessive green is going to be little y, little y, and homozygous recessive wrinkled is little s, little s. Okay, so how do we express that then? Okay, so each parent can only give up one allele of each. So what are our two alleles here? We've got, I'm going to change colour. We've got capital S and capital S. So here's the two options the parent can provide in terms of the alleles. And so we're talking about this parent here that's yellow smooth. So it's only capital Y and capital Y. They're the only options. And so with our homozygous recessive, uh, our green wrinkled, we have um, a, a little s and a little s and a little y and a little y. They're our only options. So let's put these together then because what we put in these boxes is what the outcome of the cross is. So we've got a capital S and a small s, a capital Y and a small y. And in fact, that's the same for each. So all of the offspring are going to be uh, smooth, okay, because that's a dominant allele. All of the offspring will be smooth and yellow. So 100% of them will have the phenotype smooth yellow, but also 100% of them will have the, the genotype, so that's the phenotype of the offspring, and the genotype of the offspring will all be capital S, small s, capital Y, small y. So that's our F1 generation cross. Now we're going to go ahead and do an F2 as well. So we're going to cross two of these offspring. So a capital S, small s, capital Y, small y, with the same thing. So we're going to do this cross. It's going to be, okay, that's what we're going to cross. So the Punnett square this time needs to be more complex 
because there's a number of different allele combinations. So this is what our Punnett square is going to look like when we do a dihybrid cross. And in each one of these spaces above here, we need to write down what the possible alleles will be. So it's more complex now. This is our F2, and it's our dihybrid cross. Okay, so what are our options? We've actually got four different options for both parents. So one of them is going to be, well, two of them are going to have capital S, but two of them are going to have a small s. One of them is going to be a capital Y, and one of them is going to be small s capital Y. Okay, and this one's going to be a capital S small y, and this one's going to be a small y, s and small y. See how they're the four options we have of the alleles that the parent is going to provide. And we've got the same thing here with this parent as well. Okay, and now we just need to go ahead and, and put them in. So this is going to be capital S, capital S, capital Y, capital Y. And this one is capital S, capital S, capital Y, small y, capital S, small s, capital Y, capital Y. And this one is capital S, small s, capital Y, small y. Okay, this one here is capital S, capital S, capital Y, small y. Capital S, capital S, small y, small y. Capital S, small s, small y, small y. Small s, small s, capital Y, small y. Last one. Small s, small s, small y, small y. All right, there was a lot to it, but there's, it's really important that we go ahead and do that systematically. Now, what we're going to do is work out what our offspring are going to look like. So, one of the options, of course, is that we're going to have um, our capital S, which capital S is for yellow, and capital, uh, I beg your pardon, so capital Y is for yellow, and capital S is for smooth. So that's one of our options. Now, any time we've got a capital S, it's going to be smooth. Anytime we've got a capital Y, it's going to be smooth. So let's go ahead and count how many with a capital S and capital Y we have. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Now, so can you see it won't be that one because it doesn't have a capital Y. It doesn't, won't be that one because it doesn't have a capital S. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine of our offspring that are yellow and smooth. Okay, next one is, uh, this is going to be smooth, green, smooth. I should have changed color. So the next option we have is change color. The next option we've got is smooth green. Okay, so for smooth, we're looking at something that's got a capital S, but it's got the two small Y's. So we've got one, two, three. So we have got three green smooth. The next option we've got is going to be wrinkled yellow or yellow wrinkled. So let's go yellow. No, I won't go yellow. Let's go blue. So yellow. Okay, so we're looking at one that's got a capital Y, but two small S's. So we've got one, two, three, and finally, we have got E green wrinkled. And we should only have one left, and we do, one. 
So this is what we call our dihybrid cross ratio. And what that is, is it's the ratio of the phenotypes. Nine, three, three, one. So there's nine that have the dominant phenotype for both traits, three that have the dominant phenotype for one trait and the recessive for the other, and the other three, and another three that have the opposite. And then we only have one offspring that has both of the recessive traits. But that is how we do a dihybrid cross. Now, this is the theoretical ratio and you don't always see this in the offspring and that's because of other factors that we're going to talk about uh, in an upcoming video.